Okay, I'll try to get this right. I'll be as honest as I can about what I remember. But that's kind of the problem. I'm missing some details. Like how I got here. You're going to have to trust me on this. Sorry, I guess we should get acquainted. I'm Felix. Darver? Felix Darver? I don't know, it's weird when people say their full names in introductions. Anyway, interesting name, Ordinary Life. I'm an editor for a magazine. That's my jam, my daily grind. And I think it's cool, but I know no one else thinks it's cool. I was on a first and only date once, and the girl said, That's not cool. Well, maybe it wasn't those exact words. Probably something like, That's interesting. But you get the idea. Now, this memory problem. It's not such a big deal. Mostly inconvenient. It's infrequent, not like forgetting eggs at the store or something. Okay, but I've always done that. Not to be a sob story, but a year ago, I had an accident. This is when it started. The memory problems. <sighs> so I know what this looks like. Doesn't look good. I mean, is this my blood? Or someone else's? Blood's a bad sign either way. And there's been a lot of it already. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, maybe you can help me figure this out? How the hell did I get here? So where do I start? Ah, memory problems. How could I forget? <laughs> Fine, don't laugh then. Like I said, these memory gaps only happen once in a while. They're stress-induced. And things have really boiled over lately. I was having a rough week. Had a hard time concentrating. And he noticed. He was concerned. Are you alright, man? Did you hear anything I just said? Yes. Let's back up. Things had been pretty rad up until that week. Mostly because of Sarah. It had only been four months, but she was... Well, I fell for this woman. I feel like Sarah really got me. Like she saw straight through to my core. We took things slow. I mean, really slow, but that was okay with me. I hadn't been in any serious relationships in a while, and she was special. She was always very honest, spoke her mind, and everything she did was thoughtful and considerate. And we were a great match. She told me I was one of the rare good guys who put her feelings first. And me, well, <laughs> I'm not the most social guy, but Sarah really got me out of my shell. So when she told me last week, I just don't see a future for us. I didn't see it coming. I asked her, why? I mean, we had such a connection. It didn't make sense. She said, I think we're just too different. I said, how so? And she's like, you just, you're not motivated. You don't follow through with things. You're so lazy. You're just always doing this and that. And I want to do that and this. And we're just not right for each other. That hurt. A lot. I tried to be okay with it. I tried to go about my normal daily routine. So I wasn't in the best headspace going into the work. Here's the thing though, I love my job. I'm good at it. I have buddies here. I get to work with Vinny, he's one of my best buds. We go way back. Smith loves me. So at least I had all that. 
and I really didn't think my work was suffering. So when Vinny came up to me halfway through the week, I thought he wanted to talk about the new World of Warcraft expansion and how he was finally raiding Zuldazar, but instead he hit me with, Dude, I'm worried about you. The, the, the article you reviewed on Blah Blah Enterprises, did you read it? I said, yes. And he said, really? I said, Vinny, I... Uh, uh, he said, I tried to cover for you, but Blah 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 slander. Blah 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 bad things slipped through the cracks. I'll save you the details on the rest. I didn't remember approving any article like that. Unfortunately, this means my boss had to get involved. He was a little disappointed about it. He said something like, Hey man, I, I totally get why you made that mistake, Felix. Could have happened to anyone. You're one of my best editors too. But my hands are tied. I gotta temporarily suspend you. I think I took it pretty well though. Not my best week. So my girlfriend dumped me, I got suspended from work, and I have a memory problem. Now this is how I wound up here. I hadn't slept well for the last couple of days. Maybe that's why I was so absent-minded. Let me explain. I realized I couldn't find my wallet. I had no idea what happened. I looked for it everywhere. The last place I remember having it was at the convenience store the day before. I was grabbing some Basic essentials. I'm pretty sure I lost it right after that. Probably dropped it. But I may as well have done this. Because that shit was gone. I called and canceled my cards. And then I went to the bank to get some cash. Which I was running low on because it was the end of the month. Turns out I got in the wrong car. She thought I was trying to mug her or kidnap her or something. It got sorted out. The cops didn't come or anything. Though, I ended up calling them anyway. No wonder I got in the wrong car, because mine was fucking stolen. I started to wonder, how did everything get so out of control? What was the start of everything falling apart? Sarah. I started to call her. I hung up. But God, I missed her. She's the only person I wanted to talk to. I thought about going to her place just to talk. I texted Vinny. Yeah, he would know what to do. Of course, he told me it was a terrible idea and to go home. He would meet me there in an hour. Vinny was right. Not smart to go see Sarah. But then her stop came up. I couldn't help myself. I don't know what I was expecting. Not that. When I saw Sarah, so many thoughts were rushing through my mind. Was she already with another guy? Was she with him before we broke up? Did she even miss me? She really wasn't happy that I showed up unannounced with all these questions and she finally unloaded on me. This is why no one wants to be with you, Felix. And then, that was it. I headed home. I know what you were thinking. Don't try to hide it. The blood. The bathtub. But I could never hurt Sarah. I would never do something like that. But what she said got to me. This is where things get fuzzy. I started feeling off. And 
and I felt like I was being followed. Maybe I was being paranoid. I was coming up on my block and I heard someone yell out behind me. I don't know what he was saying. I had a bad feeling, so I took off. He chased me. I think he was telling me to stop. I lost him, luckily. And to be honest, that's all I remember. The rest of the night is a mystery. As for the blood, I don't know. Must have tripped and fell. Must have been my blood. I wish I knew what happened. I wish I could remember. Are you alright, man? Did you hear anything I just said? Dude, don't worry about you, man. But I guess it won't come back to me. You believe me, don't you?